I would go into an interview expecting that some question, I'm going to need to pause a little bit to figure out my answer. I'm not going to know every answer right off the top of my head, regardless the amount of preparation I put into it. So I want you to prepare to buy time or stall, if you want to call it that. Now remember, the, the magical time frame is 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds to pause at the beginning of an answer before any, everybody in the room is going to get a little bit uncomfortable. So in that 10 seconds, what can you do? Well, maybe I just pause for about five seconds and say, well, I still don't know the answer. So maybe I need to do something else. I may take a look at my notes and that will buy some time. I may ask the interviewer to repeat the question. I heard the question the first time. I just don't have an answer. So as that interviewer is saying the question a second time, I'm really not even listening. I'm in my head thinking of my answer. I could repeat the question back more slowly than they asked it. So if they asked me a question, and Craig, give me an example of a time that you had a conflict with somebody. I could say, I could pause five or six seconds and then go, let me make sure I understand. You're asking me to give you a time when I had a, and now, even as I'm saying the words, I'm in my head thinking about maybe what I want to do. As they are saying, asking me the question, I could be writing the question down on my pad. And it may take me a little bit longer to write the question than when they said it. So they're done saying it, and now I'm still finishing up my notes. Or maybe I'm scribbling, pretending that I'm taking notes on the question. Or I could say, hey, you know what? Can we come back to that question at the end of the interview? For the life of me right now, I'm just drawing a blank. And you can do that. You probably only do it one time, but they will never have a problem with you delaying answering a question one time in the interview. Now, one of my favorite stalling techniques is taking a drink. Now, I don't mean a drink like maybe you just think I mean a drink. I'm, what I like taking with me into an interview is room temperature, bottled water, maybe with a little bit of lemon in it or citrus in it to cut the phlegm in my throat. I would never take a cup like this into an interview, nor would I accept a cup like this from the interviewer. This is an accident waiting to happen. Even if it has a lid on top of it, it's going to have a hole in it. And it's too easy for this to spill over. And now they're going to remember my interview. Oh yeah, wasn't that the guy who spilled his coffee all over the table? So what I'm going to take into an interview is my own from home bottled water, room temperature. You never want to drink anything cold in an interview because it tends to make your vocal cords tighten up. And you're pouring this cold water down there and now you're trying to talk and it's making it more har uh, harder for you to talk. So room temperature bottle water with a little bit of lemon in it. And the beautiful part about this is if I was using the cup and I wanted to stall, I would just pick the cup up, drink, and now I got to start talking. Well, that didn't take very long. But if I've got water with a cap on it, as I want to stall, I say, uh, boy, that's a really good question. And now I'm taking a couple of seconds to take the cap off. Maybe I even give it a couple more twists than it really needs. Take the cap off. Take my drink. I'm not ready to start talking yet. What? I still got the cap. So now I've got to do what? Put the cap back on. Again, may give it a couple more. It's already on, but I'm giving it a couple more twists. Why? Because I'm buying a little bit more time. Folks, I cannot tell you how three or four or five or six seconds more giving you time to come up with an answer can absolutely be a lifesaver. Plan on having to use some stalling technique in the interview. So prepare and plan for these things. And then when you get there, you go, oh, well, here's where I'm going to use my water and you're going to thank me for it. That's my tip for today. Till next time. See ya.